begins a new season of Pittsburgh Steelers football. There are new players at several positions, including quarterback. New rookies who will be making their Steeler debut tonight against the Texans. And even some new rules to learn with the first ever dynamic kickoff tonight at Akershore Stadium. We'll be covering all of that and more tonight on BetMGM Steelers Kickoff. And here is Justin Fields. He's giving us looks. He's giving glory with his T-shirt. And he is going to give Steelers fans something to talk about tonight. These player arrivals are presented by Get Go. Better believe it. Hello and welcome to the Bet MGM Steelers kickoff show. I'm AJ Ross here in the FedEx Great Hall, and I couldn't be more excited to be joined by not one, but two-time Super Bowl champ, Max Starks, former Pittsburgh Steeler. Max, it's been a long off season, or maybe a short one, depending on who you ask. <laughs> but we are now 30 minutes away from football being back in Pittsburgh. How excited are you? I'm very excited. I've been up at training camp since the beginning of it. So seeing these guys get out here on the field tonight and actually hit somebody that does not look like their teammates or somebody you're going to see in the dorm room later and have a conversation, get, it's good to get through the paces, go against this Houston Texans squad. They obviously had a lot of success last year, so there's a lot of known subjects to go against. Well, we've got a lot of ground to cover, and we're, of course, going to get to X's and O's, but we also want to get to you, the fans. There's a lot of newcomers, new faces that a lot of people are going to see tonight, and we want to know which newcomer are you most excited to see. Post your comments on social media using the hashtag SteelersNation, and we may feature it on our broadcast tonight. These social media posts are presented by South College, proud partner of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, Max. Some of those newcomers, actually all of the newcomers in the quarterback room are brand new faces. You've been up at Latrobe. Who are you most excited about seeing tonight? You know, it's funny, when I think about the quarterback position, I have to say I'm excited to see what Justin Fields has to offer. I've watched him in a Bears uniform. I can't wait to see him tonight in the black and gold and what he does in his debut. As the starter, one of the things coming in was, how's his footwork going to be? How's his body posture going to be? And Mike Tomlin addressed that in numerous different ways. But watching this kind of new centralized focus, he's on a new team wanting to make a great first impression. He's looked good up at camp. Now we want to see if practice comes into play in the live stadium. And like you said, it's very different when you're going up against an opposing team, not those teammates. Yes. We don't need a reason to talk about football year round in Pittsburgh. Yeah. And of course, we love to talk about quarterbacks. But now it's time to bring in the guys that are going to be calling the action tonight. Bob Pompiani and Charlie Batch want to get your takes on quarterbacks tonight. Oh, AJ, thanks very much. It's good to be back. What a beautiful night for football here in Pittsburgh. Uh, Charlie, we've seen a lot of change. You don't see this normally uh, in one off season, but man, the Steelers have totally redone their quarterback room. Last year, you might remember Kenny Pickett was the starter. Mitch Trubisky got in there for a little bit. Mason Rudolph guided them to a playoff, and Tanner Morgan was also on the original roster. All four of those guys are gone. Replacing them, the veteran Russell Wilson, along with Justin Fields, former top 10 pick of the Bears. Kyle Allen and J.R. Plumley. So we're going to see a lot of new things here. But again, Justin Fields will get the start tonight, Charlie. This is a guy who's very exciting. 40 touchdowns, but he had 30 interceptions in Chicago. I imagine that's the one thing he needs to correct. Yeah, it definitely has to correct that. You have a great coming to a new situation here with this Steelers organization. He doesn't have to do it all. And you can see just the comfortability that he had from day one, taking advantage of the injury to Russell Wilson. And you can see the team is buying in. And this is an opportunity for him to prove if he had to play, those guys that are watching here today are going to go out there and believe that he can get it done if he steps in that huddle. All right, he'll be targeting George Pickens most likely. And there are a lot of other guys. Deontay Johnson no longer here, but Van Jefferson brought in. Calvin Austin's a guy who you would expect at this time to make a jump this season. You absolutely do. And he was battling Roman Wilson, but Roman injured early in camp. So Calvin been able to take advantage of those opportunities. So here's the next step for him. But also Van Jefferson. This is a guy who came in here trying to prove and you got to block the outside noise. And what better way for you to go out here and do it in stadium. And both of these guys have the a huge opportunity here today to take that step. A lot of guys have Arthur Smith ties. He's the new offensive coordinator. We have a lot to get into at game time coming up just after 7 o'clock. For now, let's send it back to Max and AJ down at the FedEx Great Hall. Thanks so much, guys. Now, Max, I mentioned you've been at training camp enduring the heat, the rain, all the elements. Yes. Talk about maybe a guy that's caught your eye so far these last few weeks. Well, so one of the guys that's caught my eye has been a guy by the name of Beanie Bishop. 
undrafted free agent from West Virginia University. Beanie Bishop has been in a pivotal spot. He's fighting for the starting nickel slot corner position, which people are asking, well, what position is that? That's when teams come in three wide receiver personnel sets, which the Texans really like to do. That's the extra defensive back that's brought in on the inside between the line and the outside receiver. So that is a very pivotal point. Cam Sutton on the shelf for the first eight weeks. So now it's an opportunity for a young guy to really step in, and he's been getting a lion's share of the first team reps. Well, very excited to see him and the rest of the black and gold tonight as we take a look at our people's natural gas countdown clock. Here's a shot of Russell Wilson making some friends with some young Steelers fans. Game time is just over 20 minutes away, and when we return here on BetMGM Steelers kickoff, Max will break down the new dynamic kickoff rule that fans will see for the first time ever here at Acroshore Stadium. BetMGM Steelers kickoff is presented in part by People's Natural Gas, making your life better. The quarterback position has always been paramount in the NFL, and veteran quarterbacks are always in high demand. That's why the Steelers were especially happy to add Russell Wilson to their roster in the offseason. Our Missy Matthews sat down one-on-one -on -one with Russ to talk about his transition here to Pittsburgh, building chemistry with those guys on the field, and, of course, chemistry with new offensive coordinator Arthur Smith. Getting a chance to work with Arthur Smith, how would you describe his offense and what it's going to look like this season? We're going to start with our physicality. I think that it's just, Arthur is a tremendous teacher. Um, his ability to communicate and everything else. And one of the things that he really wants to have us, you know, come out right out of the gates with is our physicality. How we want to go about our games and how we want to play. Um, our practices have been at an all-time high, yeah. you know, just every day, just going hard. And Coach Tomlin really helps set that tone, but Arthur does as well. And, we, we, we're doing a good job of that. What is something that you've learned from him? Just his understanding of the game and how he sees it, you know, and I think, you know, our ability to come together and see that, see the same way, see the same play, uh, maybe there's something that I've seen differently and he sees it a certain way and then we, you know, we, we say, okay, that's, that's the best way to do this play. I think that's been really cool. I think he has a, a tremendous ability to, to express his personality in meetings. He does a great job of that, you know, he's just, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a funny dude and I just love, love being around him. Thanks to Russ for giving us that time and Missy for that wonderful interview. So Max, you've had some looks at Russ. It's been minimal. He's been nursing a calf injury, but what do you think about Russ and what we're going to expect from him starting regular season? You know, I can't wait to see it. The leadership has been unequivocal since he's been in, in the facility and over at training camp. If he's not playing, he's in guys' ears. He's talking as guys come off the field. He's rallying the troops. He's doing things after practice to make sure that he might not get the physical reps in practice, but he's getting them after practice to make sure he's up to speed for when that time is that he will debut for the team. Well, a lot of eyes, of course, are still on that quarterback position throughout these next few weeks, but also eyes will be on this new dynamic kickoff the NFL is unveiling this season. I am not an expert on it, but I know a man who just might be. Maximilian Starks the fourth, I think, <laughs> is the man who can break this down perfectly. Well, you know what? There's nothing else to say. Just roll the tape and hear my glorious voice talk about the new kickoff rule. The kicker will still kick off from his own 35, but his teammates will now line up on the opponent's 40, which is 25 yards ahead of where they lined up in past years and they cannot move downfield until the ball is either touched by the opponent or hits the ground. The receiving team must line up at least nine players between the 30 and 35 yard line in what's being called the setup zone. And they're allowed a maximum of two players inside the landing zone, which is between the goal line and the 20. If a kickoff hits short of the landing zone, the receiving team automatically starts at their own 40 yard line. If it lands inside the landing zone and goes through the end zone, the drive starts at the 20. Any kick that is downed in or lands in the end zone and goes through results in a touchback to the 30-yard line. If a kickoff goes out of bounds, the receiving team takes possession on its 40-yard line. Finally, onside kicks are only permitted in the fourth quarter. 
Well, I couldn't have said it any better myself, honestly. I <laughs> thought that was a great explanation and great graphics by our crew here with the Steelers, of course, with KDKA. Excellent job. I just needed you at an interactive monitor or maybe a chalkboard yes. or something, yeah. and it would have been perfect. So as dynamic as this new dynamic kickoff is, how dynamic do you think teams will be adjusting to it and scheming for it? I think you're going to have a plethora of options because it depends on the kickoff guy. Who do you want to kick to him or just want to give the team the ball at the 30? Or if you want to see some stuff where you're going to get kickoffs because of the two guys there running some type of cross misdirections, maybe leading a wall type of front. There's a lot that's going to be displayed, but I don't expect that until week one. Well, kickoffs are, of course, changing, but one thing that does not change is the standard. That, of course, is the motto, as you well know, yes. and it's also the title of a new exclusive documentary presented by Hyundai, or Hyundai, rather. Here's a preview of the upcoming series. I'm just excited for this camp, this season, and everything, because I can be able to show my full talent. Being here at St. Vincent College, you know, I think about all the great teams, all the Super Bowl teams, and hopefully we're one of the next ones. It's not as stressful, I would say, as football. Football, you got the whole world watching and stuff, and it's just a different feeling. Man, just can't say enough about this atmosphere tonight. We really appreciate the relationship that we have with this community. You can check out the first episode of the new season on Steelers.com and the Steelers YouTube page. And if you need even more football, check out NFL Plus. NFL Plus is here, which means no matter where you are, this is how you football. Go to plus.nfl.com slash plus and start your free trial of NFL Plus today. The first preseason game of 2024 is just a few minutes away, as you can see on the People's Natural Gas countdown clock. When we come back, we have an interview with Pat Fryermuth. Bet MGM Steelers kickoff is presented by Edgar Snyder and Associates. Edgar Snyder, where there's no fee unless we get money for you. Time now to check out the AHN injury report. Here are a few guys you will not see tonight. Kick returner Cordell Patterson is on the non-football injury list, and both linebacker Cole Holcomb and defensive lineman Dean, Dean Lowry are still working their way back into full health. But a guy Steelers fans will most certainly see tonight is tight end Pat Fryermuth, who caught up with our own Missy Matthews. All right, Pat, new offensive coordinator, Arthur Smith. What does he want to see from you guys tonight? Yeah, uh, just our identity, which is be the most physically dominant uh, unit uh, on the field. And so, you know, that's our goal all season. Um, so we got to uh, put that on the field today. How have you built your chemistry with Justin Fields, given that he's been able to take a lot of reps with the ones? Yeah, it's been great. Um, obviously, taking a lot of reps with the ones, he, he's been great. Uh, building that chemistry, like you said, um, it's been flawless. And I'm um, excited to see it in statement. All right, Pat, thanks. Good luck. Yeah, appreciate you. All right, guys, back to you. Thanks so much, Missy. Now, Max, Pat is a guy, obviously a fan favorite, maybe didn't have the season he wanted to last year. What are you looking forward to from him this upcoming season? Well, I expect a lot more of him being the focal point. I think when we're talking about who's going to be the number two receiver for this squad, I think a lot of people say, oh, it has to be a wide receiver. No, it doesn't. It can be a tight end. Look at the Kansas City Chiefs. Look at a lot of teams around this league. San Francisco, they don't need a true number two. And Pat Fryermuth is that guy that can get open in the middle of the field. He's a guy that can line up wide. He can line up on the line of scrimmage. He can be deployed in a plethora of different ways. And Arthur Smith recognizes that. And that's what he likes. He likes a run first approach. He loves multiple tight ends. And I think Pat Fryermuth is going to have a great season this year. Absolutely. Well, another guy Steelers fans most certainly are looking forward to seeing is first round pick Troy Faltanu. Now, he is the focus of Merrill Hodges' playbook segment tonight presented by Akershore. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex for the Akershore Playbook. Finally, we're back. That means we're close to playing football. First, we're going to talk about one of the draft picks the Steelers got this year, and it was the first draft pick, and Troy Fatanu was actually one of my favorite players. He is absolutely explosive dynamic and unique okay first he's the left tackle number 55 now this is going to be a down block but what i want you to watch is his leverage and how he comes off the ball 
He doesn't just block the guy. I mean, he moves the guy. That's a road grader. Shoot, I could come back and run the football with those type of holes. He does a great job at the line of scrimmage with leverage. Now, at the end of the day, he's got a pass block, and that's where I think he really stood out. I just want you to watch him from feet, hips, to hands. He is terrific. Now, in this play, he does get his hands collapsed a little bit, and what I want to point out about that is when he gets a point it collapsed in, he recovers because he is so good with his feet and hips. So he eventually recovers, reestablishes himself, and holds off the pressure for the quarterback to throw the football. This is what he brings to your offensive line. I mean, he's going to help you in every phase of the game, from running the ball to throwing the football. And he's a tough guy and a smart guy as well. And there he is, warming up for his Steelers debut. Max, I gotta ask you, how impressed have you been with Troy Faltanu at training camp? I've been really impressed, but right now as I'm watching the video here, the fact that he's going crop top, you know, <laughs> showing off a little belly button there in pregame, that's a very bold move there that, uh, you know, when you're a guy that's physically in shape, you normally don't go there as offensive lineman, but he went there and he's pulling it off nicely, but I really like what he's done. His attention to detail, getting better every single day, the physicality that he brings on the field on any given play is very relevant it's very obvious and he's a guy that i can't wait to see finally hit somebody else because we've seen the college tape now it's time to put some nfl tape out there you mentioned physicality athleticism versatility another rookie i'm sure fans will want to see is zach frazier zach frazier the man from west virginia i cannot wait to see him because at the center position you know it's something special when you've started 46 games you're a three-time state champion in wrestling I think all of that comes in and it brings a, a different type of tenacity and demeanor to the center position because the center position is all about leverage. It's all about how can I get lower than the guy with one hand because he's snapping the football. So he's a guy that I've seen just kind of work his hands, work up against Keanu Benton, and it's, it's something I want to see translate onto the field tonight. Well, tonight is our, we should check in tonight with our Yin's Chat predictive game, Max I got to ask you a couple questions as far as predictions for tonight. Okay. Justin Fields over under 199 yards passing and Peyton Wilson over under five and a half tackles tonight. Your okay. thoughts? Okay, I I'm going to lean heavy on the under here on that first one. Uh, I'll, if all goes well, I don't want to see Justin Fields out there to throw for 199 yards, right. being full honest, full transparency. But I will take the over on Peyton Wilson because I think he gets the starting nod. Patrick Queen is, has already been ruled out by Coach Tomlin. So Peyton Wilson, you're going to get the starting shot. I want to see him out there have a good, clean couple of series. So I think he might be involved in a little bit more than five and a half. All right. Well, earlier tonight on our South College social media segment, we asked viewers who they were most looking forward to seeing make their debut tonight. And here's some of the answers. Barb is co-signing with Peyton Wilson. Anthony says Justin Fields. And Kira says our first round pick, Troy Faltanu. And as you can see on our people's natural gas countdown clock, tonight's kickoff is just minutes away. When we come back, Missy Matthews catches up with Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin on his mindset going into the opener. Gear up with game day necessities at the official Steelers Pro Shop located at Aftershore Stadium. Get the latest sideline gear, jerseys, terrible towels, memorabilia, and custom exclusives directly from the team. You can also gear up online at shop.steelers.com. Needless to say, it's been a very interesting offseason for the Steelers, which is going to end in just a few minutes with kickoff here. Our own Missy Matthews caught up with the man in charge, head coach Mike Tomlin, with his thoughts on this first preseason game. All right, Coach, uh, you said training camp was like Kennywood. What would you equate the first preseason game as? You know, it's Christmas in a lot of ways. We've got a lot of new toys, um, and I'm interested in seeing what they're capable of. Some. Uh, new to the NFL, some just new to us, um, but there's still a high level of excitement. This will be your first time stepping into a stadium with Justin Fields. What boxes does he need to check? You know, I just want to get a chance to, to, to see what he's like on game day, how he communicates, how he handles the nuances of the position. Obviously, I'm familiar with his talent level and his play, uh, but there's some things beneath the surface that have my attention tonight as well. The dynamic kickoff, everyone's talking about it. First time for you guys in Danny Smith's unit. What do they need do, to do tonight, considering you're going against another team finally? You know, I just want to see the guys display an understanding of the play. 
um, the rule component of it, obviously, um, the combat component of it. And so um, I'm excited because it's the first opportunity for us. Coach, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, AJ, back to you. Thanks so much, Missy. That was presented by PNC Bank, the official bank of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Max, I want to get some final thoughts from you. You know, it's a delicate balance here. You don't want to show all your cards here in the preseason. But what might you think we see, we will see from Arthur Smith tonight? Well, I think one of the things is physicality. I think running the football is going to be an emphasis in this game. Not a lot of shifts in motions, but keeping things very simple, going through the motions and trying to develop what we call bread and butter plays that you can use throughout the season and deploy at any moment. I think to start the building blocks of that will be key tonight. You talked about the tight ends earlier and Arthur Smith liking those 11, 12 personnel, you know, groupings. Running backs, though, we haven't really talked about Najee and Jalen. What have you seen from them in training camp, and what might we see from them this season? Well, I, I think Jalen and Najee are going to thrive in this system. You think about when Arthur Smith was at Tennessee, Derrick Henry got a lot of burn and may, had some of his best years of his career. I think Najee, being a fellow Alabama alumnus, really likes what he saw, and I'm sure he heard some words from Derrick along the way. But I really like the guys that are behind him. Tonight, we're going to see Aaron Shamflin. We're going to see LaMichael Ryan, We're going to see Jonathan Ward, Dejon Edwards. We're going to see a lot of guys. In, I think that, that running back is probably the diff most difficult one because it's the deepest group I think we have on the offensive side of the ball. Let me get one quick final thought on the defensive side of the ball. Yes. Depth in the secondary. Oh, depth in the secondary, I love it. Obviously, we, we traded for Dante Jackson. That's why Deontay Johnson is no longer here. But Corey Trice Jr., a guy a year ago that came in with, jo with Joey Porter Jr., six foot three. can't wait to see what he can do. Kalen Barnes, an eighth in the Averett. Well, that's all the time we have on the BetMGM Steelers kickoff. Bob and Charlie will have...